That's what I ain't gonna do. That's what we're not gonna do here. This is the reason that the Alpine Volunteer Fire Department is smack dab in the middle of two federal lawsuits. It's got the case number on the second one today. They're just posted up stalking. Oh, it's okay. Stalking and creeping at the Alpine Volunteer Fire Department. It's still in vogue. And I'm determined for them to get their bait of looking and staring at a grown man and posting up over there and stalking. Okay, folks, this is how we're documenting evidence 101. Because we have a criminal and civil complaint it, with the Department of Justice and the federal court system, and we've got these drive-by community perpetrator stalkers that are antagonizing, uh, threatening, harassing, and, and attempting to obstruct justice in a civil and criminal case. Okay? So, I don't know if they, and I've tracked down where this vehicle is, got the information, and I'm quite sure that's going to have some fingerprints on it. We do have uh, independent, accredited forensic laboratory. We can get everything in the world tested. Fingerprints, DNA, uh, chem chemical composition, you name it. All right. Okay, so whatever clown did that, you can rest believe this will be entered into evidence and you're going to have some explaining to do. I don't know what your story's going to be. I don't know what your story's going to be. But I'm quite sure. And let, me, let me tell you. Lying to a federal agent and a criminal investigation is a felony in itself. Go ahead and lie to them and tell them, I'm just riding. I don't know anything about that guy. Nobody talked to me. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, prompted off of anything. I just uh, made a bad decision and threw trash in this man's yard. Or B, you tell the truth. Why did you do that? Well, we're trying to agitate him, get him irritated, because we're part of a program that relentlessly and vigorously, and we believe le legally, uh, can antagonize and intimidate and violate civil and constitutional rights. So for these hay hayseed inbreds here in Alpine, we have already submitted a case for criminal referral with the Department of Justice for attempted murder as it concerns these your little clique of people and what y'all are doing and law enforcement, which tied up in a nice little package. Now, for those two people decided, better not have any fingerprints or anything on here, I'm just telling you. But they're gonna get the video footage, tag number, the residence. They saw how quick it took me to, fi to find them. It didn't take them long to get where they was going, get the windows rolled back up, and, uh, and get parked. So, I know where you are. Got your tag number. I'm real interested in knowing that we're going to spend the money. We're already doing it. We know way more than you uh, morons think we know. The only reason I'm still in Alpine, Mississippi, folks, is for six years, I've been case building. And for six years, I have gotten absolutely unbelievable amount of evidence that substantiates so many different felonies it is unbelievable we are now uh, taking that step and making sure on a regular basis that the u.s attorney's office and other people within the department of justice 
are getting this information in real time as well as witness statements in real time as well as video evidence in real time now keep in mind some of your friends have already talked have already given the play what you're doing is not legal you might want to go back and look at that piece of paper you signed and realize that when you break the law and when, especially a drug justice you do that and you're participating in this bullshit here you've been made to believe it's perfectly legal I will promise you when this is over with you're going to regret doing what you what you've done I, we will not back up we will not relent we will not stand down ain't nobody giving up you're not going to deplete my resources you can forget that you, i don't know if you've gotten a memo yet or not that ain't happening you can't deplete god i'm well satisfied that i can stay here for another hundred years if i want to ain't no inbred hayseed criminal whatever you call yourself gonna call that shot you can believe that so the two people with their family in tow that decided that they'd get their two cents worth in you think this is harmless this is not littering this is not littering you're well aware of what's going on that being said why would you throw objects towards an individual and on his property in the in the midst of a criminal and civil federal investigation i don't know why you do that but they're gonna get this stuff and everybody's not laughing it's not cute and i promise you i don't care who you are or what you think or who you think you're dealing with we're not getting off the gas into some people's asses get the real charges the big charges we're gonna make it count believe that alpine mississippi folks